Alright. Ready? Yes. Here we go. Three, two, one. Alright, alright, let's see. Fancy and blue, P1, P2. They both go a little bit wide, no one goes to the block stop. Not many bumps on turn one yet, two people going wide though. Blue stays in front, we got some people pitting. Yeah, Fancy's still fighting with blue. We got Zekro pitting. Zekro did take part in the V-Gay race, so he might have more experience here. Fancy letting off, letting blue get, get past. Okay. Yeah, that sets P, uh, Fancy to P2 safely. I don't think there were that many bumps, were there? Like, it doesn't seem that... Yeah. We have four people pitting, though. Zekro, JP, Justice Swimson, and Sepper, Semicolon. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Yeah, yeah, we still have a close, close fight for P1 too right here. Blue Gear and Fancy. And we also have uh, Ichiba right behind them as well. Ichiba also took part in the V-Gay race. Um, and Fancy watched it, commentated it. So, they have experience. They they just saw a race. Let's see if anyone goes to Pawn Skip here. Blue Gear goes for it. Messes it up. Fancy goes for it. Messes it up too. Ichiba might get the overtake on someone here. He has to watch out for exits though. Oh, Ichiba, Ichiba. comes out barely. Wait, oh, yeah, yeah, he does. He gets the broad block on Blue Deer and gets the lag back. Blue Deer mows it up on the outside. Fancy might get the opportunity, but bumps Blue. And that gets Ichiba in the first place. I was not expecting something like this. j Moji is coming. No, oh. No, he isn't. <laughs> Rip. There we go. I don't know who has slime balls, so let's see how that goes. They are just going for a slime ball right now. Let's see if Fancy, Fancy stays out. Interesting, interesting, interesting. And behind him we have Priority going for a slime ball. Zanyu is all staying out. JP. And then Zekka right behind. The pit delta is I believe about 7 or 14 seconds. Do something I kind of tested it during the race. Uh, let me see here. Uh, blue Deer. Alright. Blue Deer is falling behind Chiba right now. Not going for pawn skip. Fancy goes for pawn skip and overtakes blue. Still behind Ichiba though. Yeah, so pits seem to be 13 to 14, maybe even 12 seconds. Fantasy is in the lead now. Oh, what the heck? Oh, I missed that. God damn it. Ichiba messed up turn one. Alright, well, there he goes. Yeah. And blue in front. Getting overtake. Yep, yep. Here we go. Fancy trying to read a slime ball. Okay, okay. And then Blue Deer gets it though, and so does Ichiba. Interesting, interesting. Because of the gap a little bit to blue and Fancy. Ichiba playing a dangerous game here. Oh, Ichiba messing up a little bit on the box stop. He sends the gap between. Him and Blue. Let's see here. Fancy goes for Pawnship, gets it. Blue Deer misses it. There's a little bit wide in the alternate route. Alternate route. The normal route. And yeah, Fancy going into P that 4 of 23. Currently, Kaden's the only one who's done more than one pit, which is interesting. Oh, it's Shiba is lagging a bit. Uh, it is now behind Ender. All right, all right. Let's see how I take this. Oh, yeah, it gets lagged back or something. Oh, that's huge time loss from Shiba, losing a bunch of time, getting overtaken by priority cleanly. Huge time loss. You can see how much distance they lost there. Because they were just fighting with just us, or Zander's already here. But now they're all the way back there. That's huge. It's not over though. I had multiple of those happen during my race and I got podium still. So like, it's definitely not over. It's still early on. Like, I think I actually agree that same thing. But yeah, it gets bumped by priority in the block stop. Block stop is very interesting, but also kind of bad for racing, I think. Um, whenever you're P2 behind P1, you kind of just don't have many good options. Like, any of the four options you have, two of them are neutral and two of them, like, you lose time. So, yeah. You see Zekro failing pawn skip. You haven't seen as many people going for pawn skip. I'm, I'm actually not sure how many people went for it. Oh, JP gets it. But I don't know how many exactly were going for it in the gay. But um, I feel like there were probably more. And Zekro gets back to Mo and loses a position there. 
Hate to see it. Let's get a booty there. Yeah, the gap between him and Fancy is steadily increasing. Although Fancy is coming up on backmarker and Kaden. If Fancy um, catches up before Pawn Skip, which it looks like he might enough, and goes for Pawn Skip and gets it, he can get the overtake here. Let's see. He does not go for Pawn Skip. Interesting, interesting. Is Vu gonna go for it? No, he's not. Okay. I think that they are teams, so they might have just um, decided let's just play it safe. Especially with the lead they have. JP is. Actually, maybe within the strike. Uh, it's close. A uh, pit is 13 to 14 seconds, and he is Ichiba. Oh, sorry. JP is like. I'm guessing like 24, 25. Fancy going for a pit, though. Interesting. Let's see get blue P1, unless he pits. Okay. Two stays out. There we go. Blue's gonna get P1. Honorary P1. Yeah, JP is currently 23 seconds behind Blue Leader. But also has done two pits. So I think net total time, he's actually maybe slightly ahead of Blue Leader. Interesting, interesting. No slime balls. He muscles up the mo uh, the blocks up a little bit. Understandable, understandable. It's not. I try to make it as easy and like normal as. Not normal, but like repeatable as JP possible. Has but done it's all awkward. Two pit stops already. Yeah, yeah. And he actually might be like net ahead of uh, Fantasy at least. Uh, yeah, like, if the pit is 13 to 14 seconds, he's actually maybe net P1. Maybe. Yeah, Blue, again, not going for Pawn Skip, but going for the block stop. I don't understand his reasoning there. Fancy going for Pawn Skip gets it! That's gonna get him in front of JP in total time. Or at least it should. Yeah, yeah, you see it's 13.7 now. Depending on pit calc, I might be wrong. But, we'll have to see. The very least, the ball is in Fancy's court, and thus he's deciding to pit! Okay! Right as I say it, let's see if he gets up in front here. JP is actually 16 seconds behind now. He should absolutely get in front. There's no way he doesn't, right? And there. Oh, did he go yet? Oh, there he goes. Yeah, I don't see a JP anywhere. Yeah, JP's all the way back here. Damn, he must have messed up something. He might have like, messed up a or something. But yeah, that gets Fancy in front of JP. Holding off his position. Blue there, I think, is net P3 or something like that. Because, yeah, priority is currently 4th. I think Zekro is actually net P4. Because um, I think he's... It's actually it's close. Um, he's like 13 to 14 seconds behind priority. So, yeah, it's actually pretty close with Zekro. So, yeah, there we go. A Zekro priority both using the thing. Interesting. I think priority, yeah, priority must have um, tried to destroy uh, Zekro there. Because, like I was just talking about, Zekro and Priority are kind of fighting for position right now. Because Zekro is like 13, 14 seconds behind. So yeah, that almost worked for Priority. It would have probably worked if Zekro didn't have a game plan of let's just use the slime ball right there. So yeah, if Zekro just tried to take the boss off like normal, he would have actually been fine. But instead he decided to use the slime ball and that coincidentally worked out. But yeah, alright. And Zekro fights Esper. Who? After they used... Uh Pond skip, but Ooh. messed up turn one. Yeah. Let's see. He stays out. Okay. He's behind Just Desperance. Just Desperance like, kind of just woke up and didn't really have that much warm up. He started in like fast place because um, he wasn't here for quality. So I have to see how he does this race. I'm, not, I'm gonna assume he's not gonna be that fast for um, during the race. I think Zekro tried to just barely nick the pressure plates there, but I don't think he did. Nope. Yeah. No blocks up there. That's fair. People often forget, um, they all, I, I think that people probably think only two options, only either go for Blast Up or Wall Tap, but you still can't take the corner norm normally, so like, still an option to think of. It's the most safe option of all of them, but it's also probably the slowest. If, I mean, if you do the Blast Up incorrectly, then it's slower, but, oh well. No one go from Blast Up, or a uh, uh, Pawn Skip. Yeah, the only fight right now seems to be Zekro and, uh, Jet Sprints. Other than um, undercut uh, in total time fights, like uh, Priority and Zekro. Priority, though, is 10 seconds behind Zekro. Oh, Zekro getting the bow tap, though. I saw that. I saw that. Currently in tandem with Just Esperance. Let's see how this goes. Okay, okay, okay. Zekro getting mag back a little bit. Now that I've been going for the slime, that's correct. Direct play. Oh, Just Justice is very inside though, what's he doing? Kalen left the game. Oh, rip, rip Kalen. 
But yeah, just suspense goes for the boss up in an unorthodox faction, and um, Zekko um, does not go for it, and that puts him behind just suspense once again. We are coming up on Ponzi, we'll have to see how they do it. Oh, but Zekko mows heavily on the boss up. I. Yeah, if he does, if Zekko gets the pawn skip correctly, he's actually gonna end up in front of Justice Prince. I think he's, think he's close enough. Let's see if they go for it. Zekko goes for it. Oh, and just barely misses it. That was almost it. That was almost it. I haven't even actually looking at um, where Justice Prince came out from. I'm not sure if he actually would have gotten the overtake either. I think Justice Prince took the corner really freaking well and actually might have been fighting range with Zekko if Zekko got it. But regardless, he did not get it and he loses. Four seconds. Or maybe two. But yeah. That was a fun battle. We got Blue Deer catching up the fantasy though. Although Blue Deer is a pit behind. And so fantasy is currently like way ahead of everyone. Well, yeah. He's currently like a few seconds ahead of JP. So it's actually not that much. Okay, he gets a pawn skip, but that's going to help him a lot. Coming on my back marker in Zander is old though. Yes, he has one Semi more cut to do. messed up turn one, and JMOD overtook him. Oh, nice. Good stuff. Yeah, oh, fancy. I'm from one. Getting maybe past Zanderzol. He does just barely, but Zanderzol is still in tandem. Fancy goes a little bit wide, but that's going to be enough for him to get past. Now we have Blue Deer just going for a pit. Deciding to go on even pits of Fancy here. Maybe? Nah, nah, there's not enough time. He's going to end up behind JP, I believe. This is Meatbag Franks, and JP is right here. I mean, maybe, actually, hold on. They actually might come out in front of JP. Yeah, but something must happen to JP. That's a lucky break for the Blue Deer Fantasy team, because now Blue Deer is going to be in front of JP and can maybe hold him back. Oh, that's great. JP, that's great for Fantasy. JP has one more pit done than Blue Leader. Ooh. Blue gang, uh, slime balled. Going wide is not going to result in much except for the gap uh, shrinking. We have four person train here. Let's see how they do the block stop. They all just kind of go wide. Understandable. I think, uh, oh yeah, just suspense goes for a block stop, but doesn't really get it that well. But yeah, Blue Deer and JP are now in tandem with each other. Blue Deer leading. Let's see. JP goes from the uh, pawn and gets it. Ends up in front of uh, Meatbag Franks as well. And I guess I'm P2. Now he's a, he has a Vogue Fin Air, I believe. He's just gonna go ahead and try to set some really fast VAPs. But he's up against Fancy, and Fancy is also pretty fast, so I'm not sure how that strategy is gonna go. Fancy going for the, for the pit, trying to block JP. Great play by him. He's gonna come, come out draft absolutely in front. Yeah, yeah, you can see the gap now. Alright, we're halfway through this race, and uh, the front runners have used all their pits. And Blue Deer is using his final ones as well. It's interesting. I guess he just didn't want to do the train. Um, but yeah, alright. JP has a semicolon in between him and Fantasy. And also, you know, 7 seconds to get past. If Fantasy starts messing up some of these pawn skips, then JP can absolutely catch up. If, J if JP gets a pawn skip and overtakes takes under, and also Fantasy messes up pawn skips, then yeah, it's totally reasonable. Let's see here. Fantasy does not miss those, he gets it. Alright, let's see if JP responds. JP is... Oh, no, Oy. no. Yeah, I think it might have been just he was behind semicolon. Like, uh, it's, it's awkward. It's not like you can... In time traveling, you have one consistent setup. But if you're behind someone, you also have to, like, adjust your setup according to back markers yep. and how they sell you down. So that's understandable that he would be a little bit awkward in that situation and mess up a little bit. But yeah, that extends the gap tremendously. Fantasy, wasn't he... Was, wait, wait, wait. Wasn't Fantasy, like, only, like... Actually, no, he might have been larger. I don't know. Regardless, now it's 16 and a half seconds. That's huge. We do still have like 10 maps left, but it's still a lot to get back from. Meanwhile, it was just us sprints. It's two seconds behind Blue Deer, although he has a whole pit behind. So we'll have to see how that goes. JP activating this bridge. A lot of people activating the bridge. A lot of people just want to get the clean wall tap. All right. Actually, at okay. Boingberg, um, it's interesting because if you have, if you're P2 and you're behind P1 and P1 uses the slime ball, you don't have to use the slime ball for yourself. You can also just go for the wall tap. And this also like applies to like if, you know, if you're like two seconds behind them and use it for themselves, you'll still get like the fence wall tap, which is huge. So you get to save them, you get an easy route without having to spend anything. So um, you saw three people activated it in a row there. If they had some way of knowing 
that um, the other people were acting as side balls, they just save them for themselves and use them for themselves on different maps or use them for your teammates. But yeah, all right, we got JP Zacro. Wait, where's Zacro come? Wait, what? Huh? Huh? Wait, Zacro's P2. What? what? So what happened? Oh man, okay, I don't. Espo is not spitting. No. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so we got a train of uh, semicolon and meatback pranks and then they'll gap to Zekro and then they'll gap to JP. Zekro, once again activating it, getting an easy turn for him, maybe trying to get past meatback cranks here. He's in tandem. He gets past with the rod. Blue leader. Blue leader is right there. Ooh, yeah, he's Not right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's reasonable. If Zekro gets destroyed by his back markers, he can, he can be within fighting range of JP and Zekro. Zekro going a little bit wide though. Gets parkour back back. That's going get meatback cranks just barely in front and see if Zekro gets a pawn skip. He does go for it. He gets it. GP goes for it. And he gets it too. But he's going to be right with back markers and goes outside and mows. Blue Leader goes for it. And also gets it. And semicolon. Or is that semicolon? Just as it goes wide. Alright. Yeah. I mean, once again, we have three people activating the bridge gimmick all at once. Interesting. Interesting. But yeah, no, the gap is now only 12 seconds between Zekro and Fancy. I don't know what happened there. Maybe Fancy messed up pawn skip or something. But yeah. Alright. Uh, Made by Prankship spumped out and JP overtakes. Yeah, Zekro is now on a mad dash to Fancy, going for another ball. Demi Colon is uh, defending perfect again. <laughs> Zekro using the slime ball for himself. Clean play, it's actually a very uh, solid play. Oh, JP, maybe getting the overtake. Okay. Yeah, JP is barely in front. Yeah, that might just be it. Yeah, JP is in front. Yeah, yeah, and Vivian has to deal with semicolon. He might get bumped here. He does get bumped, but Vivian stays out. Stays alive. And semicolon bumps by uh, Blue's shadow. Good stuff to them. But Blue is now right behind. Let's see if anyone messes up pawn skip here. It could be drastic to be changing the race for them. GP nails it. Blue Blue nails it as well. Shaving the edge there, but there's just enough time to get across. Oh, this is tight. And Zekro is still 12 and a half seconds behind. We, are, we only have 7 laps left though. So we're going to have to start seeing some huge strides to try to catch back up. What is Fancy up to? Fancy had to deal with a back mark, I believe. I think he might have just gone past him in a struggle there on the box top. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, yes, Esper is pitting. Okay, nice. Yeah, Zekro is will all the way over stay, there. Will he stay in front of priority? Let's see, where is he? Uh-oh. He might. I think he will. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, he does stay in front of priority. Good stuff. Okay. Me bad cranks doing a fight, and there's also Blue Leader though. Oh, Blue Leader messing up though. Blue Leader was with a two second um, gap, and now it's only it's six seconds. He must have messed up Pawn Skip, I think, because I think Pawn Skip punishes four seconds solo. Um, yeah, now it's ten seconds. Yeah, something, he must have messed up Pawn Skip or something. That sucks. Alright, alright. Zekro catching up though. It used to be ten and a half seconds, now it's 9.75. Though that pay, yeah, he goes further behind. Fancy's getting held up by Backmark and Chiba. If Fancy gets the overtake here with a Pawn Skip, it's going to be huge news for him, but if he messes up, it's going to be. Terrible. Oh, oh, he mows on the inside. A little bit too eager. And that's going to close the gap a lot. Especially if Jekko goes for the pawn skip and gets it. Oh, he misses the he misses the wall. All right, all right. That's still fine. The, cap, the gap is still going to close a little bit. You can see Fancy closing, starting uh, start finish line right now. The gap has shrunk just a little bit. Or it should have. Yeah, yeah. Now it's six and a half. All right, all right, all right. That's step one. Zekro just has to keep getting lucky, and Fancy just has to keep messing up. Or, maybe if there's anyone who wants to kill Fancy, they can actually maybe mess him up with the slime ball gimmick. We can't count that out either. Let's see here. I don't know if Fancy has any slime balls. Doesn't look like he does. Oh, Gustav going out. Gustav was his team advisor. I don't, so now, now the team advisor this. Zekro using the uh, slime ball for himself. Interesting play. It's safe to use the slime ball for yourself, but also that means that, I mean, you do get a larger reward for targeting people. 
and destroying them. Um, so if they go up the block side, you can make them lose like two or three seconds if they melt on the outside. Um, so yeah, he's still playing it safe though. I think, I mean, second phase is still really good. Like, second phase is still the understandable if he settles for second phase. Although he is going for pawn skips though, so I'm not sure if he, <laughs> I'm not sure if he's down to settle. The gap is now eight seconds, but it should decrease a little bit right here maybe. Just a little bit. I think Fancy got past the back marker. Yeah, I'm not seeing anyone else. Alright. Let's see if Fancy starts using these fine balls at all. Look, I don't know he's yeah. Uh, Chiba is now in P8. At oh. the start, he was first. Oh, he was first? Yeah. Really? Oh. Oh, well, that sucks. Laps. Oh, I see. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right, you're right. Zekar, you're right. once again, you can do a slime ball for himself, though. We have four laps left. Or really, like, three and a half. Or four and a half. I don't know the math. But, um... Yeah, okay. We got Fancy with a back marker again. If he gets in the pawn skip, he will get the overtake. But if he doesn't... Fancy going a little bit slower. Nails the pawn skip. Plays it safe and gets the rewards. But he still comes out behind Jamo in priority right here. Oh... Now 20 of 23, Zekro is 8 seconds behind now. Oh, Zekro messes up! I think he must have messed up the pawn skip. That's terrible news for him. And Zenderzol also follows. Oh man, that sucks. Damn, alright. Well, now the largest fight is with priority. So we're really gonna check it out. Oh yeah, this is a fancy priority Jamie train. Alright, priority going a little bit wide for the slime ball though. That gets the fancy the overtake. Priority is still in tandem though. Fancy calling out the the slimeball usage, goes for the wall tap. Oh, and then semicolon gets absolutely destroyed in unfamiliarity unfamiliarity with the slimeball gimmick. So that's fair. That's very fair though. Like, <laughs> like it's it's not super simple. So yeah, Fancy continuing continue getting past priority. Priority is now three seconds behind this competitor. Let's see if Fancy goes to pawn skip. Oh, uh, Esperance is. Closening the gap to blue leader. Oh, maybe, maybe. But yeah, I think at this point, Fancy doesn't even have to go for pawn skips. Oh, rip. Uh, that, that sucks. He, oh man, that sucks for him. Priority. Damn. Yeah, gap to P1 and 2 is now 15 and a half seconds. Now 20 seconds. I go messed up upon again. I think this race is over. Except JP is right there now. So now we have his bike for second place. Potentially. And look at this. Semicolon is now in the points. That was exactly what I was hoping for. Uh huh. Uh oh. We got someone stopping on the track. Maybe that again, that again a little bit. Semicolon. <laughs> okay. Zachary goes for a ball. I think he just. I think he got it. Maybe. Let's see if anyone uses it. Yeah, Zachary and JP both use it. Oh, Zekro maybe trying to do an option select of semicolon with either a boat tap or the wall tap. I think with the line he took, he actually could have maybe gotten either. Um, but he got the wall tap instead of the boat tap, which is just fine. Ichiba dying! No! No, what? Bro, <laughs> that's three disconnects. Alright, let's see. Oh, they're back. He's back. Go, go, go. Alright, let's see if they get pawn skips here. Okay, Zekro gets it. JP gets it, he stays in he stays alive, stays alive, he gets in front, barely in semicolon, he might actually not. No semicolon gets in front. Oh no. JP might have more speed, just barely. Yeah, yeah, JP just has enough speed to get past. But he's still in tandem, he still has to fight with Zekro. Zekro messing up turn one a little bit, JP can catch up immediately. Alright, oh, here we go. Lost one position, or at yeah. least one. Yeah, I saw that, yeah. But yeah, we're coming up on a second to last lap right now. Let's see. I don't know if JP actually got that slime ball. Alright, Zekro using it. Let's see if JP re recognizes it. Yep, he does. Doesn't get the exact wall tap he wanted, because he wasn't ready for the fences to show up. He didn't get that sideways momentum on the wall tap. So messing up just a little bit, but it's fine. He's still in contention. If Zekro messes up the pawn skip here, if either of them mess up pawn skip here, it could actually be Friends. GG's. This friend is standing on the track! <laughs> he's to the side, he's to the side, he's fine. Alright, no. Zekro sending the gap though. Zekro getting the pawn skip. JPS did this to stay alive. He does stay alive. Just barely coming in this final lap. The gap is three seconds. Let's see if JP can do anything about that. Also, me back ranks is three seconds behind another person. But we're gonna we're gonna watch this fight with B2. Let's see. 
JP is part of the Maserati team, so he can maybe... No, j Melody... Or, no, sorry, uh, Zachro always uses the uh, Stein Ball for himself. He's gonna go for another one. Yeah, he's gonna be immune to this. No matter what JP does, he can't get... Uh, Zachro can't get memed by the thing. Yeah, Zachro just goes for the wall tap, and JP cannot do anything about that. One of the few flaws in the uh, Slime Ball gimmick is that scenario right there, where if Zachro just has oh, Slime Ball, he can gone. just become immune. But yeah, there it is. You see, okay, it all comes down to the sponsorship, though, and if people decide to do it. Zekro might have enough time to stay in front if he doesn't go for it. He does go for it, though. He gets it, and that should get him P2. JP stays alive, though. Yeah, that's gonna be it. Alright, well, good shit. Good shit to Zekro and Fancy and JP. Good race. Really are falling off a little bit, though. I think he might have had Kiala, like, bad race. It happens. <laughs> JP left the boat too early. <laughs> Oh, rip. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well there we go. I'm gonna check out Meatbag Cranks, actually. For this fight for P8. It's currently right behind Ichiba. They still have one map to go. After this one. Don't know if they're gonna go for Pond Skip or anything. I doubt it. No. Oh, that's sad, because Ichiba's also vagging, so Meatbag Cranks has to respect them a lot more. You know, P4? Linear P4, nice. And then J-Mode is still a good ways behind. The the grid is actually super spread out. Aside from like P2 and 3. And maybe like P7 and 8. Oh, Meatbag Cranks catching up a little bit as Ichiba goes wide on turn 1 on their final lap. Alright, let's see. They Meatbag Cranks catching up a little bit. Let's see if they use any slime balls here. Oh yeah, is Shiba going for one? I think he's just used it for himself there and become immune. Yeah, he does do that. Maybe Osako... Oh, and Meepak Pranks doesn't know about it. And he doesn't take the wall tap. That's gonna extend the gap. Oh, and Shiba just... <laughs> well... <laughs> there that goes. Ichiba with the Wi-Fi problems. Helping him. And block Meepak Pranks behind him. You hate to see it. Alright, does he go for it for memes? He is not. Very fair. Because if he messed up, Meepak Prince should have maybe gotten past. Meepak Prince should go for it for memes. No, he does not. He almost just blocks up. But yeah, alright, there you go. That's gonna just about do it. Oh, <sighs> that was a good race. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, something called himself. Oops. Oh, and Esper get, still gets a point. Oh, true, yeah. Oh, he commentated on the stream mm -hmm. that he lost power. Oh, <laughs> rip. <laughs> that sucks. Damn. Nice. Good stuff. Get finish. There you have it. <laughs> okay, here is the race result in the chat. And we can check. Got fast lap as well. Fast lap is by fantasy. We've got one minute to ten. Mm -hmm. Yukari wants to participate in the next League B race. Of course, of course. Let's go. Let's go. Hell yeah. Yeah, pretty sad for Esper, but yeah, those stuff happens. Yeah, it happens. It's really easy to say, oh, if this didn't happen, if that didn't happen, I would have gotten this, I could have gotten P1, I could have, you know, beat this guy, but the same thing applies to them. If they didn't mess up this one spot, they could have gotten even further ahead of you, or, you know, they could have taken someone in front of them, right? So, in situations like these, you know, yeah, sure, if he didn't get the power knocked out, it could have, you know, been a lot better for him. He could have actually finished the race. But, you know, other people's powers have gotten knocked out too. Other people have had unfortunate situations. Even if it wasn't specifically this race, it's happened in the past. It's going to happen more in the future. So, hate to see it, but it happens. Just got to live with it and move on. But yeah, that's going to do it. Good race. Fun track. Track readers. 
very smart and handsome and good sounding and amazing, of course. Yeah.